Okay, so we have this nice trig integral. We have the integral of sec to the power of four of x times 10 of x divided by sec to the power of four of x again plus four dx. So we really need to remember the relationship between tan and sec to solve this problem. So first off, remember that sec, so sec I'll just write it here, is one over cosine. So that's uh, how it's defined, one over cosine of x. And now let's try and remember a few of the properties uh, the second tan share. So just using the standard identity that is uh, sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x, uh, sorry, squared equals one, we can divide this whole equation by cosine squared of x to get tan squared of x equal, uh, plus one equals sec squared of x. So that's one, that's one relationship between sec and tan, uh, sec and tan and we might want to use that. I don't really see how this is gonna help us because it's gonna give us some nasty expansions. Another relationship uh, between sec, uh, sec and tan is we know that the derivative of tan of x with respect to x, this is just sec squared of x. So that's another bit of information that we might need to uh, remember to solve this. And one more piece of information, I'll just write it down, is the derivative of sec sec of x with respect to x, this is equal to sec of x times tan of x. So as we're saying, we don't really think this identity is gonna help us because it's just gonna give us some nasty expansions and it, I don't think it's gonna simplify much. Now, if we think about using these two identities, um, we can use the substitution method. So if we were gonna substitute u equals tan of x, then we would have the derivative of sec squared of x. Um, that might help us, but we have sec to the power of four of x, it might still be a bit messy. So instead, if we look at this last relationship, if we let, if we use a substitution of u equals sec of x, then we have a derivative involving tan, which is gonna get rid of the tan on the numerator. And then everything else we can express in terms of u very simply. So to do the substitution, we need to differentiate this, which is exactly this line, so du equals sec of x, sec of x times tan of x dx. And what's nice is that sec of x is already defined as u. So we can just write this as u times tan of x dx. So this is what du equals. And then if we want to replace this in this integral, we can just, if we divide by u, we have du over u equals tan of x dx. So we can just replace tan of x times dx, which is this, these last two terms, by du over u. And then what's left is just stuff involving sec of x, which we can replace by u. So if we use the substitution, this is going to give us the integral of u to the power of four, that's just replacing sec of x by u. And then again, on the denominator, we have u to the power of four plus four. And then as we were saying, if we group these last two terms, we can replace them by du divided by u. And then this u is gonna cancel with one of the u's on the top. So this is the same as u cubed, u to the power of three, divided by u to the power of four plus four du. And this is really nice. We've reduced a trigonometric uh, integral into just a polynomial one. And we can actually integrate this straight away because we have a cortic, a polynomial of order four on the denominator, and we have a cubic on the numerator. So if we differentiate, differentiate a cortic, we get a cubic, which means our answer is gonna be something of the form, the logarithm of u to the power of four plus four. We still need to think about the constants. So if we differentiate this, we get the u to the power of four plus four in the denominator. And then on the numerator, we would have, well, the constant vanishes, but we'd get four u cubed. And we have the u cubed, which is nice, but we need to divide by four. So then the four cancels with the quarter here, and we're just left with u cubed on the top. So this is gonna be our answer. We need an integration factor as well, plus c. And uh, as always, we need to replace u um, how we define it in terms of x. So this is simply just one over four times the logarithm of sec to the power of four of x plus four plus c. So this is our answer.